Good day, everyone, and a happy Friday. Hope you've had a great week and looking forward to a wonderful weekend. Let's start off with prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this time together to study your word. Thank you for your word. Thank you for giving your Holy Son on the cross for our sins. And thank you. Uh, please bless this time that together to your glory. In Jesus' name, we humbly pray. Amen. Again, thank you for taking time to watch today. Um, like take a look at a couple um, scriptures the first of uh, the first one is hebrews chapter 12 verse 1 second one is first corinthians chapter 10 verse 23 um, hebrews 12 1 since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses let us throw off everything that hinders us in the sin that so easily entangles us and first corinthians chapter 10 verse 23 all things are lawful for us but not all things are helpful all things are lawful for me, but not all things edify or build up. Let us no one seek his own, but each one seek the other's well-being. We're to put others first and in our lives. I uh, wanted to go over these today. Just we all, whether we realize it or not, our lives preach to other people, be it a, in a good way or a bad way. Um, in the verse in Hebrews, we're surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. We may say the words, but our actions do speak louder in the way we honestly, at times, how we make people feel. It doesn't mean we shouldn't refrain from saying and correcting and, and, and saying what is the right thing to do, but a lot of times it's our attitude that um, does not come across in love. And that can be hard to do, and that can be very hard to do. Um, there are opportunities around us everywhere to witness. And again, um, we're preachers, whether we like to admit or not. If you're a believer and accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, our life preaches. Um, the first area that we preach to is, frankly, those closest to us, our family, our friends, our loved ones, and then any social environments we have, be it even at church, even... Um, at school, at work, and in social areas. Uh, our words and our deeds need to line up in our attitude as well in reflecting God's love in our life, coming with God working through us. It's not our own talents, it's what he's given us and how he wishes to use us, and we need to yield to him. Um, during these times, keep in mind there's a couple of situations. There are sins we can commit in our witness or just sins in general that where we actively commit a sin where we do something we know is wrong say something we know is wrong and there's also at least we forget there can be sins of omission where we should speak up we feel the holy spirit leading us to do something but we don't yield to it and those are sometimes many times are opportunities we may not get back now the lord has a will to be done in a situation um, he'll take care of it However, it may be our opportunity to yield to his will that we let pass by, and that will reflect on us in the days of, of judgment. Of what do we do with Christ who died for us that we accept as Lord and Savior and that we're yielding our lives to him? Um, one thing with Christians in general, and I'm, I'm, I'm in this category as well, and that's why I bring up sins of omission and commission at the same time, Many times when things are bad, they're not fun, but when things are going rough and we know we're in need, it's very easy that really God is disciplining us to trust him, to yield to him and let him handle things and allow him to work out situations. Probably everyone listening today, if you're a believer, have had that happen in your life. I do think success, prosperity, good times, Many times I think for Christians, that's actually more of a spiritually challenging time. Um, I think of David when he was a young shepherd boy taking care of the flock. He totally depended on the Lord. When he faced Goliath, he totally depended on the Lord. Fast forward to when he was king, extremely successful. He had successfully escaped Saul's plans to kill him with the Lord protecting him. And he really sought the Lord's will. But fast forward to late in his life, when he was a king, had had a lot of success, a lot of prosperity, he was rich. Um, he decided to take inventory to see what he had and started trusting in himself instead of yielding to the Lord. 
success, even for the David is written to be a man after God's own heart. And certainly he, he failed at times, Bathsheba is, is one time, but late in his life when he was success, successful, he was trusting himself instead of the Lord and, and seeing what he had and whether or not he could, of his own strength, wage war or you know what he could do with his, his accomplishments and his wealth and his armies. Um, he took his eyes off the Lord. And success, we have to be very careful. The point being, we have to be careful during times of success or prosperity or the good times uh, to make sure the Lord is still number one in our life. He should, he is at, should be at all times. And, but sometimes I think for believers, the good times are spiritually more of a challenge than even the bad times. We should yield to the Lord first in our lives at all times. Um, and always remember, again, we're, our lives are pre, or we preach through our lives. First Peter chapter 3, verse 15, uh, always be ready to give defense to anyone to account for the joy that is in you. We need to be ready to give an account, to witness, to share the good news of the gospel. Um, there's opportunities all around. I, I really, in spite of the way things may be going in the world, um, you know, certainly biblical prophecy is being fulfilled, you know, before our very eyes. And throughout all time, it's, the prophecy is being fulfilled. Um, there, there's opportunities. There's always opportunities. And we need to make sure as much as depends on the believers who have the Holy Spirit living in us to let those opportunities take, to throw out the seed and let it take root. Um, the first step, if you've never accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, I encourage you to do so today. Jesus is God in the flesh, 100% God, 100% flesh, sinless, satisfied all, all Old Testament laws, died on the cross as the perfect sinless sacrifice to do away with sin for anyone who believes and trusts in him as Lord and Savior. If you've never done that, and again, if I you to confess you're a sinner, accept and believe in Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Say a prayer. Then share it with others. That helps you and, and all of us in our development um, in, in God being able to use us. It is, God does all things for us and to help us reconcile us as sinners to him. That's why he gave Jesus. So if you've never accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, do accept him today. I encourage you to. And if you're looking for a church, you're welcome to join us at 2271 Altry Mill Road here in Godwin at Shiloh. We've got a, a, a wonderful group of believers um, ready to receive anyone. If you can't join us live uh, on, on site, you're certainly welcome to join us online at, starting at 1030 on Sunday mornings and 7 o'clock on Wednesdays. And if you're looking for a physical church to attend and can't get here, please just reach out to us in the chat, this one or any one of the other services or any one of the other um, videos that are shown throughout the week. And someone will reach out to you and be glad to help you find a good church to help you in your walk with the Lord and, um, and, and during this exciting time. Again, hope you had a great week. Thank you for joining and have a great weekend. Take care.